Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again for another scrapbook process video. So I do apologize because this is going up on Wednesday instead of Tuesday and my goal was to make it every Tuesday and Friday. But yesterday was just kind of chaotic and busy and I figured I would probably do a little bit better job with the voiceover and everything if I waited an extra day. So not that big of a deal, right? So this is another layout that I did at the crop. Um, that I was at and since I had the Doodlebug Kitten Schmitten collection out for the last video if you saw um, I decided to just go ahead and finish up using all the photos that I had taken to go with that collection So these are three photos I have of my daughter and a little gray kitten that we had for a while when she was young and I just cut a pattern paper strip to go along the top and you can see how the layout is how I want the layout to go. Um, basically I wanted a strip along the top and then the three photos in a cluster on the bottom right and then to the right of the bottom photo I want to put my journaling. So now you can see me um, cutting this gray pattern paper piece down and I don't measure. You're going to actually see that I probably should have measured this one but when I want to cut a piece of paper down I just use my fingernail to make a little mark in the paper where I want it to cut and I just cut it there. So as you can kind of see me there, I'm just making, I'm looking for the fingernail mark and then I'm just making it a little bit easier to see for when I actually cut. So I'm going to trim that off and that is going to go on the left side of the page. So I know that that's how I want my photos and everything to go. So I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of the pattern papers with my black ink, my black close to my heart ink. And I'm going to glue down this pattern paper. Um, I didn't want it to span the whole width of the page, so I did trim this one to be... I wanted basically a white border of cardstock all around the entire layout. So I trimmed this one down just a little bit. And I'm going to use my T-square ru ruler to make sure it's straight. And I'm just going to move it up there because I didn't want such a huge border along the top. And now I'm going to ink the edges of this pattern paper. And then I'm going to glue it down. And it's going to go on the left hand side of the page. And after I get this piece down, I'm going to go ahead and glue my photos. I don't know the sizes of my photos, but the two photos that sit next to each other are pretty much the same size. And then the photo that goes below them is a little bit smaller. So you can see here when I go to glue this photo on that I had cut that gray pattern paper piece down a little bit too much, but it's actually an easy fix. So you will see what I'm going to do here is just take out that pattern paper that I have along the top and I'm going to cut a strip down of this pattern paper and I'm just going to measure it down to match the top and the bottom. It was a little harder to measure from the top because there was no photo or anything there on the right. So I just measured it with the top pieces there. And I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of this pattern paper strip. And I'm going to glue it down and it's going to cover up that gray area there that's a little bit too long. And you don't even know. So that actually turned out, worked out pretty well. So um, I am thinking the whole time this layout actually turns out to be pretty simple i know that i want my journaling to go here to the right of this bottom photo and i also knew i had this die cut journaling piece um but when i put it on there there was too much white showing from the cardstock in the background and i didn't like that so what i'm going to end up doing is taking a scrap of this gray pattern paper piece and i'm going to trim it down so it kind of looks like the gray pattern paper spans the whole layout but it actually doesn't go behind the photos so um, but I feel like that just gives a little bit something it, that journaling block just didn't look good there without anything behind it so I'm going to go ahead and get that glued down in there and now I'm going to add this black um, border sticker and I feel like that just really adds a little something to the page and then there was also this green one so I thought maybe I would add this one to the top and I did leave these stickers long enough to go to both edges of the entire layout. Um, as you can see, it goes over both the white cardstocks. And I think that that just gives a little bit of added interest to the page. So I really like that. And now I'm going to, um, I played around with a couple more border pieces or scrap pieces of paper that I had just to, um, I knew that I wanted to add a little more black along the page since I did have that black border along the bottom. 
I knew that I needed to add a little bit more black around the page. So, um, but you will see how I remedy that in a few minutes. So right now I am looking at the letter stickers that I brought. And originally I got out this one, which is the Doodlebug, I believe it's called Abigail, their stickers. That's the font, Abigail. But I wanted a little bit more dimension with the stickers, so I got out these black glitter foam thickers. So, um, oh, sorry, my cat found a piece of paper to play with now, so he's going to tear it all up. <laughs> sorry about that background noise. So I'm just making sure that I have all the letters that I need, and I want the title to be Little Gray Kitty. Um, I just want not little the whole word, just L-I-L. So, um, sorry you can see me chatting with my friends there. I talk a lot with my hands. It's a bad habit I've tried to get stop myself from doing, but I'm, I'm getting there. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the letters now, and I love these stickers. And I've decided that I think I'm going to make it a goal for 2018 to use up some letter sticker sheets. I have a lot of half-used letter sticker sheets and I just want to get a lot of them used up. I, I don't think I'm going to let myself buy any more thickers or letter alphabets of any type until I use up some. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to have like a prize I can get if I use up so, a certain amount, if I want to take some out and just use those until they're gone. I haven't decided but I'll let you know. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what, if you have any scrappy goals for 2018. I would love to hear that. So with my title being Little Gray Kitty, um, I knew that the A senders and the D senders, I wanted them to snug together. So what you're going to see me do here is I'm going to start with the two T's in the word kitty so that I can make sure that they fit in the words, the D senders from the G and the Y. So you can see here, they are going to bypass each other just a little bit. I didn't want to put the word kitty down so far that they didn't touch at all um, because I, I didn't want that much space in between. I thought it would look a little silly. So just making sure that the T's fit between the G, it turned out to look really cute. And I really like the way that they fit together. Um, I'm really happy with how that layout or that title turned out. So I'm just going to put those away and... Um, Next, I'm just going to play around with just a few things on my layout. I don't add a whole lot to this layout. It's kind of more of a simpler one. So one thing I'm going to do is take that pink tab on the sticker sheet that you can see there, and I'm going to add it to the top right, and I'm going to make a little cluster up there. So you can see me putting that sticker up there, and I really like that. And I knew because I had that black border strip along the bottom and the black title that I wanted to bring a little bit of black up to the top right cluster just to help draw your eye around the page. But you will see how I fix that in a minute. So right now I'm playing around with this journaling box. And what I'm going to end up doing is trimming, off, trimming it down so that it will fit in between that little square um, I trimmed off the spirally top and I'm trimming off a little bit of this. You can still see a little bit of that green paw print, but I'm going to cover that up and that's going to just be another cluster area. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down and I don't do my journaling at the crop. I wanted to do the journaling for this layout at home. Um, so I took an epoxy gray kitten and I added it to the top cluster. And now there was this little die cut pink heart. So I'm just going to ink the edges of this heart and I'm going to glue it down. And that is going to cover up the green paw print on that journaling strip. So you can see me doing that there. And then I am going to, what am I going to do? It's been a long time since I did this layout. <laughs> the crop was at the beginning of November and we are in mid-December now. So um, it's kind of surprising that you forget how, what everything you add to a layout. But I'm going to play around a little bit. I add an epoxy sticker of a milk jug um, to that cluster with the heart. And so basically in the top cluster, it's going to be that pink tab a gray kitten and this black heart and that will be that will add the black to help draw your eye up to that area and then in, next to the title 
um, on that sticker sheet you can see that banner and it says so happy together and I thought that was perfect for these photos so in just a minute I'm going to take that banner sticker off of the sticker sheet and I'm going to add it right there next to the or title and I am going to add a kitten a die cut kitten behind that and then I have the little cluster to the bottom right with the heart and the milk jug and that is pretty much going to be my layout so thanks again for watching again sorry this is going up on a Tuesday instead of or I mean excuse me on a Wednesday instead of a Tuesday but I hope you guys had a great day please subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you next time thanks guys